results. Parents, the new school year is slowly creeping up on us, but right now our local districts are trying to figure out exactly what back to school will look like. Right, each county could look different. It could include more learning from home. Laura Puglisi tells us about the challenges students will face and the tough decisions parents have to make. Working from home has its challenges for parents trying to help teach their kids and for kids trying to do it on a laptop. But is it safe to return back to school? And if so, what will it look like? You want to sit, you want to sit in my lap? Parents like Chastity Howard have a lot on their plate. So, yeah, so he's already, like, so excited to... Oh, you want to talk to her? She's a mom and a military wife. I know, but mommy's trying to do something. And now a part-time teacher to her four kids, three of whom have asthma. It's a scary time. Like, I felt like there was so much on my chest to protect everybody. Protecting her family meant making the tough choice to continue learning from home. Students who make that decision commit to a certain time period and can't shift back and forth between being at home and being at school. The school district says learning from home will be more strict compared to this past spring. Students also can't participate in extracurricular activities at school. On the other hand, some parents like Kimberly Pattison are ready to send her kids back to school. They miss their friends. They miss some of their teachers, they miss just that social interaction. That model is centered around the level of spread. Under low spread, students and teachers wear masks when moving around, but can remove them once they're seated. Lunch will be served instead of cafeteria style, and field trips and assemblies are canceled. If the level of spread increases to moderate, the district can move to a staggered attendance plan with certain groups coming in while others work remotely. For parents, it's a big decision with worries no matter what you choose. If somebody's coming to school with having the virus and they don't even know about it, then what if, you know, my kid gets it and gives it to one of their grandparents? And parents have up until July 1st to make that decision. Laura Polisi, on your side. If you choose to learn from home, you'll have to fill out that form by the date Laura mentioned. Of course, we'll link that to you on our website. And of course, we're keeping track of coronavirus cases.